Here, we will take a look at the data mashup feature introduced in Excel Cubed version 9. In this example workbook, we've got a second worksheet which contains some initial stage forecasting information held solely in Excel. Our cube has the actual sales data and we'd like to bring these together for further analysis, so we'll do that now. As you can see, we already have our cube connection defined in the connections dialog. We now need to add a new connection. Scroll down to Excel, click on the range picker. We'll then point it to the range of data in our Excel forecast tab. We click OK and then we OK that again. And as you can see, we now have a cube connection and an Excel data connection. Finally, we need to join these two connections. This can be done with a special type of connection called a data mashup, which can be found in the connections type scroll box. So add a new connection, scroll down to mashup, select our two connections and click OK. When I then add a grid to the mashup connection, we will be presented with a dialog where we need to define what information is being returned from our selected connections. First of all, we'll define the cube query. We'll put calendar date on rows and then select the calendar year level. We'll also select product category and select the subcategory level. And finally from the cube, we would like to return the reseller sales amount and the reseller order quantity. Next, from the Excel source, we just need to confirm the range being used and whether it includes hidden cells or a header row. Once this has been completed, we need to define how to join the two sources. So I'll click on the Excel connection and in the From dropdown, select Date, and in the To dropdown, select Year. Next, under From, we select Product Categories, and under To, select Product. And when we click on OK, we will now have our grid design up. We'll put Measures onto Columns, and then we can choose order quantity and sales amount from the cube and the forecast data from the Excel workbook. We'll put year onto the filter and product categories onto rows. For the year, we'll start with 2012 and then we'll click OK. And there we have our grid, combining the two sources. I can change the year to 2013. And if I move the year hierarchy down to the left of measures, I can select multiple years as I need to. So in this case, we'll pick 2012 to 2014. This grid is dynamic, so if we focus on caps, you can see the numbers here for 2012. And if I go to my Excel forecast tab and find 2012 caps and change the data, the data will update directly in our model without needing to manually refresh or re-import data. So, that's a simple example of how we can merge data from Excel and from analysis services but the approach is similar for any two supported data sources.